Everyone does it, but most people don't really think about it. Unlike these three, who spend a lot of time thinking about how people tie their shoes. Brain researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Cognition and Neurosciences are studying why people are able to perform certain complex tasks without making errors. Ricarda Schubots has taken a close look at this everyday occurrence. Her videos show that even though everyone ties their shoes in an individual way, the overall cognitive mechanism seems to be the same. A complex task has to be broken down into a series of smaller goals. Cross the strings, make the loop, tie the bow. You see it with everybody. If you say, tie your shoes and watch what happens, you see that although the path taken is always a different one, each person completes the process as a sequence of interim goals. At the center of her research is a very special part of the brain, the frontal lobe. This area of the forebrain controls many of the traits we think of as being specifically human. For example, the ability to pursue a complex goal in a logical, step-by-step -step fashion. The researchers at the Institute in Leipzig are now using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, to see what happens in our brains when we accomplish complex tasks without a second thought. Inside the MRI apparatus, test subjects view a series of simple images. The brain is able to remember the sequence, just as it notes the series of interim steps when tying the shoes. The human brain is able to simulate an action before attempting to accomplish it. Different areas of the frontal lobe appraise the results in advance and, when necessary, search for alternative plans that might help reach goals more quickly and easily. This process occurs even during the most commonplace of everyday tasks. That's why the three researchers next focused on a customary morning ritual for many people, making coffee. Although people accomplish tasks like these without hesitation and seemingly without thinking, the brain is working the whole time. It has to decide how to accomplish the goal and then initiate the necessary movements. But intent and action first have to be aligned in the brain. For example, when I hold the coffee pot under the tap, then it has to be properly positioned for everything to work the way it should. But what happens when there are several different options? Should I take the well-known brand name or a cheaper substitute? In situations like these, most people decide on a brand they recognize. Kirsten Foltz says there are reasons for this kind of behavior. The psychologist studies how people behave in situations where they have to make choices. Making a conscious decision is another ability generally thought to be unique to human beings, and the frontal lobe is active in the process. When a choice has to be made, the brain will fall back on something it recognizes. Whenever I have two objects but only recognize one of them, I opt for the one I already know because I assume the recognized object is more valuable. The brain constantly monitors actions and will sound the alarm if you miss one of the steps in a complex task. But when you have concentration problems, or if you're distracted, mistakes can creep into even everyday tasks. Marcus Ulsberger is trying to find out how the brain discovers and corrects errors. Error recognition and correction is another aspect of our thought processes that most people consider a uniquely human characteristic. Time pressure can contribute to a higher rate of error in otherwise straightforward tasks. This test subject is supposed to identify the correct arrow at a specific moment. Most of the time he notices right away if he's made a mistake. Ulschberger was able to identify an interesting curve when analyzing subjects' brain waves, the signal the brain makes when it recognizes an error. 
Insgesamt können wir sagen, dass dieses Overall, we can say that this error signal that is activated prepares the entire body and the brain to change its actions. Das Gehirn darauf vorbereitet, eine Handlungsänderung vorzunehmen. The coffee is ready, and the human brain has once again perfectly orchestrated the completion of a complex task. We're just beginning to understand how, and perhaps why, there can be a world of difference between what we want and what we do.